is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player hey, hey. one. Ah. Player two. Woo. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Theater ghosts. Be fruitful and multiply. State borders. The short form. Not nominated for best picture. And official state things. Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Le Petit Théâtre du Vieux Carré in this U.S. city has several ghosts, including that of an actress who fell to her death. Player one? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Player one? The man in this drab color who haunts the Drury Lane Theater may be the ghost of a man found bricked up in a wall there. It's player one. That's it. <laughs> player one. The lady in blue seen in this Scottish city's Royal Lyceum Theater may be the actress Ellen Terry. Player one. That's yeah! correct. Player one. Here's Kelly with the clue. A ghost known as the Black Phantom used to appear in a mirror at the Empire Theater in this port city, Ringo Starr's hometown. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> player one. Melbourne's Princess Theater boasts the ghost of a singer who died after playing this devilish role in Faust. Okay, player one. That is correct. <laughs> player one, pick again. Multiply five times five times five to get this. Player two. Right. <laughs> Player two. It's three times four times five times six. It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> A lot of clues. It's negative ten times six times negative nine. Okay, player one. That is correct. <laughs> you again, player one. 17 times 2 times 6 equals this. It's player two. Woo! You are correct. <laughs> player two. 33 times 33 equals this. Okay, player one. Good for you. <laughs> Player one, you start. Of the four corners states, this is the southwestern one. Okay, player three. Right. <laughs> Player three, you probably know what's on North Dakota's southern border. On its western border is this state. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one, you'll find this state on Kansas's northern border. It's player one. Woo! 
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Select again. Delaware's southern border is with this state. It's player three. You got it. <laughs> All right, let's. It's the number of states that border the Gulf of Mexico. Player two. That's correct. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories. Frag, meaning to kill a fellow soldier, started as a short form of this term for a type of grenade. Yes, player one. That is correct. A lot of clues. If your internist gives you a script, it's short for this. Player two. Good. <laughs> player two. Buck as in dollar, is short for this item once used in trade and barter. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two. A cab you drink is short for this word. Let's hear it, player one. That's it. <laughs> Player one? <laughs> Answer. It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. Please enter your wager. Answer. A cab you ride in is short for this word. That puts you even further ahead. Select again. Bogey and Hepburn floated across the screen in this 1951 film that pleased audiences and critics, but not the Academy. Okay, player two. That is correct. Player two. You couldn't drag a Best Picture nomination out of the Academy for this 1959 Billy Wilder film. Well. Nobody's perfect. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> player three? The Academy must have been out to lunch not nominating this 1961 Audrey Hepburn George Pippard film. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. <laughs> Player three. In 1954, this Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly starer from Alfred Hitchcock didn't get a second glance. Let's hear it, Player two. That's correct. <laughs> Player two. Driving Miss Daisy won for 1989 the year this Spike Lee film about urban racism was passed over. Yes, player three? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player three, you're in command of the board. It reigns as West Virginia's official state butterfly. Yes, player three? That is correct. <laughs> Please pick again. When Virginia got a state one of these animals, the governor's office released a poem that mentioned Adam West. Let's hear it, player two. Good for you. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot. Sounds scary, but Colorado's official state fish is the greenback cutthroat type of this. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we return to you. The syringa 
also known as the Mock Orange, is Idaho's official state this. Yes, player three? Yes. <laughs> Here's the $1,000 clue for you. Appropriately, the official state cantata of Connecticut has this spicy name. Let's hear it, player two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> player three is in third place and will select first in the double jeopardy round, as we always do, right after this break. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. When they were in high school. U.S. History. Synonyms. Arctic animals. Literary characters. And cooking class. Player three, start us. He ran track at Skyline High in Oakland. Good practice for the role of Forrest Gump. Yes, player one? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player one? As a teen in British Columbia, she said her goal was to be a California beach bum. She got her wish on Baywatch. It's player two. <laughs> All right, let's get Answer, one of the daily doubles. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. Player two, please select your wager. Here is your daily double clue. To make extra money, she sometimes cleaned out the tour bus for her mom Naomi and sister Winona. You got it. As a high school basketball star in Irvington, New Jersey, this royal rapper led her team to two state championships. Yes, player one? Yeah. You are correct. Where do we begin, player one? He played quarterback for the Terrell High School Tigers before he won an Oscar for playing Ray Charles. Let's hear it, player one. That's it. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. On August 21st, 1959, it became our 50th state. Yes, player three? Good. <laughs> All right, let's... In 1963, he spoke of his dream that his children would one day not be judged by the color of their skin. It's player two. Player two. It's the period from 1920 to 1933 when alcoholic beverages were illegal. It's player two. <laughs> that is correct. We return to Jimmy. This U.S. company introduced the first TV dinner in 1954. Yes, player three. That's right. Way to go. Okay, let's get back in. Stephen Douglas proposed the act that repealed the Missouri Compromise and created Kansas and this territory. Player three? Good for you. Player three, choose again. As a noun, it's a synonym for flower. As a verb, it's to blossom or come into one's own. Yes, player two. Ha 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Synonyms for crowd include throng, flock, and this word that can also mean an infatuation. Player one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. Player one, start us. In court, you won't hear a lawyer say remonstrance, but this synonym. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, back in the 19th century, ladies didn't faint, but did this five letter synonym. Okay, player two. Good. Okay, let's get back. This synonym for to seclude is also a word for part of a monastery or convent. Let's hear it, player three. Good. All right, let's get back into this. Player three. This large bee of the genus Bombus can range from Tierra del Fuego in South America to far beyond the Arctic Circle. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> player one. Sarah will present this clue. Polar bears are well equipped for Arctic weather. Not only do they have thick fur and a layer of insulating fat, but their skin is this color, which helps it absorb the sun's rays. Player three. That's yeah! right, way to go. Player three. Alaska pipelines were constructed so as to allow this Arctic deer unimpeded passage to feeding grounds. Okay, player three. Correct. <laughs> Player three. Greenland right whales have the longest of these thin plates of any whale. They may reach 13 feet. Okay. Player one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's get back into this. Answer. <laughs> The second daily double, and you have the lead. Player one, give us a wager. Answer this. As fall turns to winter, the Arctic this, A. lagopus, produces less pigment and changes from brown to white. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, back to you. Had a whale of a time in 1851. Pequod problems. Call him this narrator. It's player two. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> player two. Famous foundling. Sykes himself out. Title taught. It's player three. Right. <laughs> Player three. LAPI, okay? Chambler's champ slept big, and his goodbye was long. Let's hear it, Player three. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> you again, Player three. Time traveling Dresden dude. He wasn't a Puritan. A Vonnegut check. It's player two. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> player two has a gem of a brother. Atticus, Atticus. Sweet home, Alabama. Yes, player two. Good for you. 
We return to you, player two. If you boil these before making them into hash browns, they'll stick together better and cook faster, too. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player three. To make bunny salad, use a chilled pear half for the bunny's body and a ball of cottage cheese for this appendage. Yes, player two. Correct. <laughs> All right, let's get... Joy of Cooking suggests using these Thanksgiving berries in any recipes calling for red currants. Yes, player two. Correct. <laughs> Player two. The Chicken of the Sea website suggests making enchiladas with the albacore type of this. Yes, player three. You are correct. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? For the silver dollar type of these breakfast treats, drop the batter onto the griddle one tablespoon at a time. Let's hear it, player three. That is correct. <laughs> Congratula congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Everything depends on Final Jeopardy, of course, so let's take a look at the category, shall we? The 1970s. So, what's your wager? Our final Jeopardy clue today is, for an historic February 1972 trip, Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger each learned to use these. Nixon was better at it. Your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? What did you put as your response? And that correct response will add... What did you put as your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Yeah! Player one, <laughs> congratulations to you! So long.